one of the most uh, effective methods to improve the tone of a hammerhead uh, is to iron the, the head itself at strike point, which duplicates some of the processing they receive when they're brand new um, to create that outer edge. Now these, of course, were originally Steinway bees, so they have um, <coughs> been uh, reshaped, which means that's virgin material. And I have to be aware of the fact that that change um, has affected the outer surface a little bit, and I need to be cognizant that it may need a little bit of adjustment. What I'm doing here is I'm just bringing a couple of hammers up with the capstan adjustment that were not perfect. Well, that's not fair. They, they're they moving as they break in, is what's going on here. And that's okay, I'm just coming in and making sure everything is kind of correct here. Just everything possible to keep this perfectly. Okay, so the system is I have a dish with a washcloth and water, and I have my iron. This gets hot. Hear it? Hiss. <laughs> so we're going to go here. So it's just a quick ironing. Now be careful because this gets so hot that it will it will burn the uh, the felt if you're not careful and turn it a kind of an amber brown. I don't know that it. it is beyond you know it does damage beyond just the visual but I I'd like to keep the uh, the hammers looking as good as humanly possible. There's also a little bit of moisture that gets put on the end. And it does change them. You want to be very careful when working around hammers that you do not hit them from the side because they'll break. They have very little strength left to right. They have a tremendous amount of power and strength head on, but not from the side. That's why uh, it's very easy to break hammers and shafts, uh, mainly the shafts when you put your action in and out if you're just not careful enough. I try to hold on to them with my hand as much as I can while I'm doing things, whether it's needling or something. And with my hand on it, I feel pretty secure. Now these ones, definitely. They just didn't have a skin on them that was real smooth. See, it caught my hand there, but it didn't burn it because it didn't catch it long enough to burn it. Needling, those needles will go right into your hands, and I've injured myself slightly doing that. And you gotta be careful, because this will burn you. There's some safety considerations in this game. The action is supported right now. At two points, I don't recommend standing. For this work, I recommend sitting. Because the more stable physically you are, the better. I'm going to change the camera angle so you can see what kind of a difference in the texture happens as a result of this ironing. Um, these things have a lot to do with the quality of the tone. It is certainly not not a small matter at all. It's very, very important. This is called voicing. And uh, if you want your piano to sound just so, 
or you're a professional or a recording artist or a concert pianist, this is extremely important stuff as you dial, you dial your uh, piano in. I think three or four of these I had to re-glue. If they're loose, they must be re-glued. And if you're going to re-glue them, you should use what's called hide glue, which is heated up in a pot. And it's a, you can buy glue from Howard Piano Industries. It comes in flakes. It's water-soluble. Put it in a little crock pot thing. I used something that was used for fragrances. and. Uh, you heat it up that way, and then once you make it, it takes about a day to make it. So you can heat it very quickly. I'm hoping we can see the smoothness that it puts onto the hammerhead. These are actually hammerheads from a Steinway B, not from a Steinway A. And they are thus more dense felts, and there's more felt. And the hammer shaft itself is heavier and more aggressive. But that gives this a more concert sound, and less like a parlor piano. It was made with a very light touch for someone who wanted easy play. I'd rather have the control of a little bit greater touch, weight on the keys, how much weight it takes to fire the key. Press it down. I'm so fortunate I have so much felt on these. I could lose felt and still be in real, real good shape on these. Okay, everybody's ironed to here and all the way up to here. Those other ones have already been ironed. Okay, time for a sound test. Back here, I'll line this up to here and come to here. Okay. I think that, you know, some people say, well, do you enjoy doing this work? I don't know, but I know that I enjoy the beautiful tones when it's done right.
loose part.